Hi everyone, in order to play sports this season, your child will need a national sports ID. It's easy to get, so let me just take you through that process real fast. If you go to nationalsportsid.com, you'll see this screen where you can go ahead and sign up. But before we do, I do want to make it clear that down here in the left-hand corner, there is a live help feature. This is incredibly helpful as there is a whole team of National Sports ID staff that's there to help you through the process. That way you don't have to call your coach or your athletic director or the league commissioner and say, hey, can you walk me through this? They have a staff there ready to go for you. They do this uh, for all the big tournaments for AAU, um, soccer tournaments across the league and so forth. So you'll just put in your name that you're a parent and tell them what your problem is and they can go ahead and walk you through that to speed the process up and that way you can get an answer right away. If they are not there, if you're doing it after hours, you can go ahead and uh, leave them a message and they will get back to you right away. But I think you're gonna get an answer way faster uh, for the process. So you're gonna go ahead and click on sign up and you're gonna say that you're a parent and you're gonna go ahead and enter your information. I'm gonna go ahead and put in mine We'll go ahead and do a fictitious birth date to create the child's name. Okay, so we've got me in there, so we'll click next. And now you're gonna go ahead and put in your name as the parent. So we'll go ahead and just have a, a name there as a parent. So you'll go ahead and put in your address. and the time zone will be Los Angeles for our case. And you'll create a password to keep your account secure. And it's gonna ask you, are you also a coach or administrator? So if you are a coach on the team as well, you'll click yes. In most cases, you're just a parent signing up their child to play sports and to be a part of the league this year. So you're gonna go ahead and click no. And then it's gonna ask you, for a phone number. Now this phone number is not something we're gonna use per se, or, um, and they're definitely not gonna use it for any advertising purposes. What it'll be used for is, so let's say that we had a rain out um, and we wanted to go ahead and text you, we could use it for that as well. So you're not a robot, and you're gonna go ahead and accept the terms and conditions, and it's gonna go ahead and click register. Now there's a helpful video here that's about four minutes that National Sports ID put together. You can watch that as well if that helps through the process. We'll be talking about a lot of the same things. First and foremost, we want to upload a photo of your child. So this will be the first part of the certification process. It's very important when you are uploading a photo of your child that we do not take a picture of a picture. That's important uh, that we don't do that. Those will be denied. Uh, we do not want any action shots where maybe your child's playing basketball or soccer um, or far away and you're trying to crop it to make it work. That's not gonna um, get accepted either. We do not want them with hats or sunglasses on. A, we don't want them with a Halloween costume on. We don't want it cut off or blurry. We need to be able to see the child's complete head, uh, their hair. Uh, they need to be looking at the camera, just a nice clear headshot, similar to what you would uh, find acceptable uh, with a driver's license or a student ID. So we need them looking at the camera, nothing on their face, nothing on their head, completely uh, able to see everything. So we want it to look like this. This is my headshot. We went ahead and uploaded that. And we'll go ahead and click next so that we can go on to the next start of the process. And so what we need next is we're gonna need a birth certificate to verify your child's age. So we will upload a birth certificate that is clear. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can uh, do a scan of it on your scanner at home. Uh, but the other thing you can do is uh, no, most smartphones now take great pictures. You can just put your birth certificate, uh, your child's birth certificate down and uh, make sure it's, it's well lit and take a picture of it that's very clear that we can see their name and their age and that information. This is uploaded to the account and then it is destroyed. Uh, but you can go ahead and upload that birth certificate. You can also use a passport. And so now that's uploaded. And then there's a report card. What you need to do to uh, verify your child's grade um, is you're going to upload a report card, a screenshot, or a scan of that. Um, you can get this from the school. This could be a report card from this year. It could be a report card from uh, the last quarter or semester of last school year. You can also use a current student schedule. Um, and then we will also even accept a student ID if it is current with a child's name, 
grade and picture showing clearly we could use that as a proof of grade so I'll go ahead and upload Justin's report card and then we'll go ahead and put in a school and select a grade and then it's time to pay it is 1099 for the year to get verified this is good for 365 uh, days so if your child is playing multiple sports throughout the year maybe even with multiple organizations your national sports ID is good for the year for all of those sports uh, you just have to renew it every year the nice thing about renewing is next year you don't have to upload all this stuff it's already on the account you go ahead and you put in your credit card number your expiration date your security code all of that and then you click get verified now and that will uh, complete the process for getting your child in the system there's one more step to the process that we won't uh, completely go over today but that is a waiver um, if you are in a sports league that requires a waiver NCSAA is one of them um, your child will be added to a team and so you may have to re-sign in and click the waiver and so that might be a second step that you have to do later on unless you were sent a link directly from the coach where it puts you on the team and then you can go ahead and click that waiver there.